Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So this is this morning's reading. Hello. You're always so used to seeing my face, but now you see my magician hands coming into the mix here, okay? Um, Monday, February 6th. This is the energy daily reading for today. I'm just getting my meditation music on here. Oh, I hope that's not too loud. So let's just pull and see what's here. These masculines have been speaking to me. Let's, uh, that's all I gotta say, but let's see. Let's see what we've got to deal with in terms of the energies for today. Even though this is a daily read, understand these journey, like these, these readings are quite flexible with time, okay? If they resonate, they resonate. I don't know why I struggle with this deck so much. Intuition. So this is High Priestess energy here for me. Okay. Hmm. I'll take these two. I'll take this. Moving on, Six of Swords. Four of Wands, Foundation and Achievements. Three of Cups, Partnerships and Alliances. Okay, so this is gorgeous energy here. Today's energy is very hopeful. I'm sorry if the light is not so great here. I, it is quite dark outside and I don't have much natural light in the room right now. So it's a little darker than I would have expected. So um, this card I'll show you says intuition. Hi, this is High Priestess Energy here. Okay. This are, um, card says moving on associated with the number six. So this is very six of swords energy for me. This card says four foundation and achievements, four of wands here. And this is Three of Cups with Partnerships and Alliances. So there's a lot of hope in these energies here. I'm seeing that your intuition is telling you exactly what you need to do, what you need to say, how you need to handle things in order to move on victoriously from one place to another and work towards your balance here. Four of Wands is also a very twin flame card. It's an 11-11 card. It's union. Take it how it resonates and then the messages will flow to you. But specifically, when I said moving from one place to another, the Six of um, Swords, is a, it's a big movement energy for me. This isn't Six of Wands where you're just galloping towards victory. Six of Swords is getting onto that damn boat and moving from one country to the next. The movement here is quite vast. It's big. It's taking you from being in one way to completely taking you to another way of being. But it's called for and it's required and it's gorgeous, okay? Look at the right or right. Death, transformation underway. That's Scorpio energy. While there could be air signs in the mix here and fire signs, and this is three of cups. So this, so this could be water signs. The two signs I'm specifically getting are Pisces and Scorpio. Okay. These decks these days are just slipping through my fingers. Queen of Swords. That was Two of Pentacles. The Star. So that's definitely the energy of now. This is too many cards. We'll take these. King of Wands, 
King of Cups. Ooh. This is a very sexually fluid energy here. Now, because I'm very proudly gay, I do pick up a lot of LGBTQ messages here. So with the King of Wands and the King of Cups, I am picking up some sexual fluidity here. There could be somebody who's just coming into their sexuality, really coming into their own, getting ready to come out, um, and really sort of healing and finding a healing way to embrace both of these sides of themselves. That's one message. The other message here is that you could be quite detached towards two male counterparts that are making themselves known to you. They are here making an effort to come to you in a journey of love, it seems. But you're quite cut off and you're actually juggling. You're not really making a decision because you're just letting it be. Understand that allowing the energies to be, allowing the energies to flow is one energy. But being into an energy of indecision, not knowing where to go, not being willing to make a decision is not giving into the present moment, okay? That to me comes from a very unhealed place. It means you're not looking deep enough or really addressing the authenticity in the present moment in order to make a decision. Or you don't know what you want. Okay, so that's what I'm picking up here right away. But this is an energy where... I do think that you watching the video are quite cut off to any partners at the moment. Mostly because the idea of partnerships and alliances, the idea of collaborating, co-creating with people is up for question right now. You're changing your perspectives based off of past experiences. You're going to honor yourself more going forward. I feel like you may have been juggling, not knowing how to handle things, you know, overgiving not saying things to people that you should be saying things to, not setting your boundaries properly. That is all being blown out of the water now and you're transforming, you're changing. And I think it's in this energy of transformation that you've now sort of maybe turned your back on two potential suitors. Because you're like, this is not the time. I'm on a personal journey of healing right now. But then I also see a masculine energy understanding more and more and more about their sexuality here. So... Let's see what we need to know about the masculine energy coming into their sexuality. Justice. They will be stepping into their authenticity. It is supported by the divine. And once they make the decision to be who they are and show up in the world proudly, anything and everything will be done to support them by the universe. That's gorgeous. Seven of Swords. Emperor, wow, okay. If you were connected to this person, questioning their sexuality, not knowing how to make strides towards accepting themselves, understand that they are in a journey of walking away from this deceptive behavior. I feel like this person may have been living a lie. This person may have been fooling themselves, thinking that they're not gay or however they identify. Um, I do want to leave that flexible there for anybody watching the video. This is open to interpretation and how you identify in that spectrum. Um... But this person, it's clear, I think was living a lie. And now the truth is coming out. But the truth is coming out to them. The universe has made it very clear to them what the truth is, what their authenticity is, what their truth is. And it's going to encourage them to really step into their power. On the unhealed side of things, I am seeing that this emperor, I'm seeing a masculine energy here, really trying to over control the situation so that they're not seen. It is a manipulative energy here. It's like they've been trying to pretend to be someone they're not. I don't like that at all. I don't even think this person likes it because a justice card wouldn't be here if this person wanted to continue being this way. The way they're living your life is not resonating with their authenticity and now the divine is delivering divine justice. Sorry, I don't think you can see that. The divine is delivering divine justice to keep things flowing forward. This person is being forced to step into their authenticity. And the Aquarius season is doing this with the new moon and the Leo full moon here too, okay? Now for the female energy that is sort of cut off from these suitors. Hierophant. Ooh, three of pentacles. Okay. 
the world. Wow. Okay. I'm seeing this disconnection a little differently right now. Okay, it's uh, this disconnection is bringing a renewal in relationships. Okay? I'm also seeing the Ace of Swords here as a renewal in sexuality. But for the female energy here, the feminine energy, I'm seeing there is a new passionate way forward. With the Hierophant card here, I'm seeing that this, dis this disconnection is divinely guided. There isn't a, a, an energy of dissatisfaction or displeasure here. I, th I think this feminine is just so detached from relationships right now. She's really working on her own personal transformation. That is allowing Ascension to come in, her spiritual journey forward. It's also allowing her to completely disintegrate any limitations that have been based off of tradition in her life so that she can embrace her power. It's helping her close out cycles and it's actually bringing in high level partnerships. Because remember, partnerships and alliances is what has been in question and it's transforming. This person is now attracting with this beautiful energy uh, new partnerships that can be more on a high level form, okay? If you look at the deck here, okay, it's Ace of Wands here. And then peeking behind is the Fool right here. So I'm going to grab that. There is a new way forward for this feminine energy. She's working towards it. She's manifesting it. She knows she's doing this too. This isn't just some new opportunity that finds her and she's surprised. She's working her ass off for this because she knows that she is the way forward. She was giving too much of her power away to these connections. And I feel like she felt that overgiving, overloving was the way to establish such beautiful connections. But now she's understanding that it's self-acceptance, self-love. Self-care, knowing her self-worth, that's all that's required. These partnerships will come in as they need to, as they're meant to. But really the opportunity right now is to step towards her own power. And that's what she's doing. This disconnection, this can be usually a cold, cold, cold cut off energy to me. But this queen is really just not focusing on love right now. But that's exactly what brings it back around, ironically. Okay. Here if I wanted to pull another deck. Actually, you know what? I don't want to pull the tarot here. In the last set of messages I'm pulling, I'm going to pull the Island Time Wellness cards here, okay? Oh! I saw that and then it fell. I don't know if you saw that. But the card that fell is called Take a Chance. Take a chance. Go for it. Good chance. Set your intention for a positive outcome. You can't win if you don't play. Okay. I like that. This is such a tiny, slippery deck. I'm trying to be careful. Sorry if I'm shaking the table a little too much and not doing that on purpose. Okay. My god, this deck is so slippery. What I'm seeing here is Girl with Popcorn. These are cute cards. Going out, excess, escapism, little regard for consequence, creating a mess, not paying attention. Okay, I don't like that. I don't like you, girl with popcorn. Just so done. Mentally tapped. I think that meant mentally trapped. Oh, no. Yeah. Mentally trapped, emotionally spent, physically drained, spiritually depleted, ready to make a change. Hello? Distant, distracted, deep in thought, detached, aloof, not feeling it. Find answers in music. I don't like this energy. Bride. Wife, partner, interested in love of a lifetime. Wedding. Or event, a commitment, or advancement. Oh, this is making sense now. This is the past energy for this feminine that's been disconnected. 
I don't see this being a playboy, playgirl type of energy with this feminine here. I'm seeing that they may have been a little nonchalant. They may have been so disillusioned in their journey of love that they didn't even realize they were overgiving. They thought it was a way forward. They didn't realize that maybe they were a bit burdensome and smothering to their partners. And it was all coming from this wounded need to have validation with an external partner. That's what led to this exhausting energy. Okay, and I think what's happening here is that this disconnection that's coming in with the Queen of Swords, this feminine, is she's just so done giving. Now, I want to give and I want to give some advice here to the feminines is still have compassion. Acknowledge that you're in this energy and acknowledge that you want to do better for yourself. But I don't want you to actually negate and move away from the beauty of love. Or don't believe it anymore just because you're so spent. Take responsibility and accountability of how you took yourself here. And everything will be good. This disconnected energy is allowing you to focus on yourself. I think I've made that clear. But what's coming about is a brand new chance in love. High level commitment. So I see that turning your, not turning your back, but choosing not to focus on love right now is what's bringing love in. With the take a chance here, don't see this opportunity as a game. Don't see it as a gamble. Instead, take it as a divinely guided opportunity for you to make an informed choice based on your healing and how to move forward towards a masculine energy, perhaps. Okay. And if it's love, let's pull from the Sacred Lover's Oracle. And as this beautiful love connection comes back around, trust your intuition. So that's a confirmation here. Okay. Quality time. Miscommunication. Ooh, conversation opening up, talking. So I'm seeing that the chance that's coming about is to engage in a healthy conversation, to take your time with this conversation, trust your intuition on how you should speak and how you should re respond to the person speaking back to you. Again, I want to show this card to you so you can see the initials here because these initials might resonate with the person you're connected to. Okay. But also by taking time with this part of the journey, you'll avoid miscommunication. If there was miscommunication in the past, it's because you're just rushing through. Wounded feminine energy has a tendency to do that. But this is beautiful. There's a nice conversation opening up. Ooh, ghosting cold shoulder. You know, this person may have given you the cold shoulder ghosted you and you may want to do that. Don't. Your happiness and joy and the next phase in this connection is by allowing the conversation to open up, trusting your intuition, taking it slow, and just communicating properly, okay? So these are the messages I have for you today. Thanks, everyone.